Did you know that some bacteria make sustainable, safe, biodegradable plastics? These natural polymers, called PHAs, have enormous potential for replacing fossil-based plastics. In nature, certain bacteria manufacture these polymers as rainy day food storage for themselves. Because PHAs are literally food for microbes, they are fully biodegradable. They are also waterproof and thermochemically moldable. This means they can be melted and formed in the same way we manipulate petrochemical plastics. But how can we harness this natural plastic production on an industrial scale? Currently, producing PHAs is too expensive for wide commercial use. This is why scientists are working to improve these biological systems using the technologies of synthetic biology, such as the gene editing tool CRISPR. In the Center for Young Sin Bioscientists Research Community, Anna Ullinen has transferred the gene that controls plastic creation from bacteria to baker's yeast, a well-known production organism in industrial processes. The bacteria cells are efficient of what they do already at the moment, but yeast cells have a lot of potential for using industrial waste as a raw material, so for using new different um, carbon sources. Since yeast tolerate low pH and harmful compounds very well, so maybe we can take directly some industrial side stream and we don't need to pre-treat it that much in the future. This will also enable the use of waste and byproducts as a raw material for plastic production in the future. Making plastic from industrial waste instead of using fossil fuels or resources needed for food production is both ecologically and economically sustainable. Anna is also working to improve on nature's design by bringing together properties from different polymers to create stronger, more durable bioplastic that can still biodegrade. Thanks to synthetic biology, we're able to develop solutions to really help us fight environmental degradation and climate change.